Namaste. So, Paticca Samupada, dependent arising. Let's zoom all the way out. Huh? Let's look at the big picture. If you look at the foundation series, the first set of videos on this channel, you'll see there's one called the process of becoming. Well, what is that about? Paticca Samupada. And then there's many other videos that reference it. And various other sutras in the Buddha's teaching. Because Paticca Samupada is so fundamental. So I've gone over it so many times in different videos on this channel. But now I'm trying to do a detailed study of it and it seems like nobody's getting it. I mean, let me tell you my experience. I first heard of Paticca Samupada about eight or nine years ago. I had just uh, given up being a guru because my students weren't getting it. I was frustrated. So I closed my ashram, gave everybody their money back and told them to go home. And I was in Spain. I was on vacation. <laughs> I was knocking around just playing jazz and having a good time. And a friend of mine told me about dependent arising, or dependent origination, as it's also called, Paticca Samupada, and showed me a book by Buddha Das Bhikkhu, or an article. And I immediately recognized, oh, this is the structural ontology of the Buddha's teaching. This is the central structure around which the whole teaching is, is made and which everything, directly or indirectly, references. I saw that immediately. What's the next thing I did? I got on a plane and went to Thailand. I'm serious, within about two weeks, I had packed up and stored all my stuff, finished all my business, and I was in Thailand. I was in Chiang Mai. And for one reason or another, things didn't work out in Thailand. I couldn't find a monastery or a teacher that was right for me. So I went to Sri Lanka, the end of 1984. I'm sorry, uh, 2012, 2012. And I began a serious study of the Buddha's teaching, which wound up with me getting ordained as a monk and spending three years studying the sutras and then finding Bhikkhu Nyanananda and then he took me further along the path. In 1984 I had attained first path, stream entry, but I didn't really know what it was. <laughs> but once I became a little educated in the Buddha's teaching, I realized, oh, that's what happened. And that's how it happened. And how it happened was that I saw, not thought, not knew, not heard from somebody else, but directly saw that everything that exists is derived from pure consciousness. Unconditioned awareness. Brahman, if you want to call it something. So after directly seeing that, that's called stream entry. One has at most seven lifetimes to go before complete enlightenment, Buddhahood. So I became a monk, I studied, and I got the other path realizations too. Within a very short time, only three years of beginning uh, serious study. Why? Because I took Paticca Samupada very seriously. Now, I don't know anybody on this channel, I mean, correct me if I'm wrong, convince me huh, that I'm wrong. I hope I'm wrong. But you have to convince me 
but does anybody watching this channel actually understand? Huh? Is anybody really getting it? I mean, I did the series on eternalism first in the hope that I would uh, be able to persuade some people <laughs> to give up that point of view. But it doesn't seem to have worked. And I'm, I'm at the same point where I was before with my teaching, feeling that, oh, nobody's getting it. Why should I go to all this trouble and expense? Uh, nobody seems to care to go back to the original videos on the channel and understand everything. Uh, come up to speed on the background. Take it seriously like a course. So with those kind of feelings, it's very hard for me to go on, frankly. I, I just don't have any motivation. I'd rather, you know, get on my scooter and go up in the hills and just sit around and listen to the birds. That would be more fulfilling, more, more <laughs> satisfying for me than making videos for a bunch of people who obviously don't care about it or don't really uh, want to take the time to go deeply into what I'm presenting. I'm serious about this. I mean, I could sit around and do music tracks and have a lot more fun than making videos for people who not only don't understand, but don't want to understand. You know, it kind of pisses me off. I kind of feel ripped off, you know. This channel represents like eight years of concentrated study, meditation, work on myself. And in all this time, nobody has ever been able to come up or come forward with any real arguments. And on the other side, nobody has been able to come up and convince me that they got it either. And they both stem from the same cause, which is misunderstood terms, misunderstood terminology, not getting the descriptions, not getting the presentations, uh, being superficial, being a dilettante. See, I, I don't buy this stuff. <laughs> I don't think it's for real. You know? I mean, I could do tutorials on how to write music that would probably get more views and, and uh, better understanding and comprehension than this stuff about spiritual life. So I don't know what to tell you. Can you convince me that you're serious? That you're for real? No? That you're worth talking to? You know, Bodhidharma sat in front of a wall for nine years, looking at the wall. And some people would come for Dharma talks. And he would talk facing the wall. And so, of course, one day, somebody asked him, well, why do you face the wall when you speak? He said, because talking to you is worse than talking to a wall. At least the wall echoes what I say. That's the way I feel about you guys. You know? And some people try to flatter me, but I don't buy that either. Mostly, what I see uh, if in the comments and so on is just incomprehension. Huh? I mean, I'm smart. You know, I'm real smart. I have a very high IQ. But my IQ isn't that high <laughs> that I'm saying stuff that people just can't understand. It's because you don't want to understand. You don't want to do the work. So, I don't know what to say. Convince me that I should go on and keep making videos. Huh? Yeah, give me a reason to continue. Otherwise, I might as well just go, you know, walk up on the hill here and uh, commune with the birds. I'm serious. So, <laughs> let me know in the comments. Huh? Do you really want this?
or are you just playing games? <laughs>